In this video, we are going to talk about conducting the full collinearity test in order to detect the existence, or you can say ruling out CMB, common method bias. Now, the procedure related to PLS is very simple. The, as a first step, what you're going to do is be on the tab where you have your model, click on calculate, and go for PLS algorithm. Uh, just keep it on factor and click calculate. Now, once you are on your PLS algorithm report, you would see right underneath the final results latent variable link. Click on the latent variable. You will get the latent variable calculation for all the variables that you have in your model over here. Now, click copy to Excel format. Go back to the Excel file where you have your original data. This is the data that I've uploaded on PLS for my calculation. So I'm putting my data over here and I'll paste all the, all the material that I've gotten. All right, so these are those variables that I have here. Now, if you look at the calculation, it would give me the total number of cases. And see, these are all the cases that I have, 294, and these are the latent variables related to them. I need to add one more column here that would be random variable. It would be random. I'm going to rename it random, and I'll generate a random variable. How do we generate random variable? Simple. Equals to... R A N D and here I get that R A N D it's about generating the random variable bracket close and that's it now Excel has this property that it would create a random variable that is irrespective of whatever values you have within the whole sheet that is active over here and it's a purely random number that is generated over here all right now this is it will click save and the data will be saved over here. Now I'm going back to my PLS uh, smart. I'll close all the tabs that I have related to my data. So I don't need to close everything, but I'll just close it in case it needs anything to be there closed. All right, I think it's safe. Now this is my data that I've uploaded. I'll delete it. I'll delete this data. I'll delete all the data so that there's no data remaining over here. Delete, yes. Then I'll add the data again that I have just saved. This is the data that I've just saved. Look at the time, it's 16.41 and I've just saved it a minute before. So I'm going to put it here, the same data that I'm going to add here. Now, once it's added, I'm going to create a new canvas. I'm going to add a new path model here, and I'll, go and I'll give it a name of common method bias to check my common method bias. All right, now the next thing what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll drag my random variable here and I'll drag all the other variables that I need to work on. Now, at the moment, all of these variables have turned into single item variables. Just simply drag and drop them here. Now, next, connect these variables with the random variable that you have here. Just minimize the canvas a little bit so that you can see that random variable is there. Click, 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 click. All right, so here we are. 
I'm just going to remove one of the variables that is PAIR. This is not my variable. I'm just testing its moderation uh, on the relationship from the informativeness to the another variable. So this is not exactly what I need. This is the interactive term that I need to keep here. So these are all my variables that I have. I don't even need to label them, name them, because I'm not that much concerned about their names right now. Anyways, they have their names 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so I don't need to be worried about them. This is the latent variable 1. Now, next I'm going to click on LS algorithm again. It will calculate the values. All right. I'll go to the collinearity statistics over here. And within the collinearity statistics, I'm going to look at inner VIF values. Now, these inner VIF values should be less than 3.3. If they are less than 3.3, it means that your data does not have a excessive level of, you could say, collinearity, and it rules out the fear of common method bias. So that's all for proving that there's no common method bias error within your data.